My girlfriend ended up giving me the silent treatment for the week. I would keep asking her if something was wrong, but she would always refuse to say what the issue was, and the thought of me not paying being the culprit kept creeping into my mind. But I would always reassure myself by telling myself that my girlfriend wouldn't be dumb enough to expect me to pay for everyone's food. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for dumping my girlfriend after she expected me to pay for everyone on her birthday? Stay with me to the end as I cover some important life lessons of the kind of crap that you can expect when a woman thinks she's got you by giving her too much certainty. But before embarking on this expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy the ride together. I, 24 male, and my girlfriend, 24 female, have been dating for four years. Okay, four years is good if you're looking for wife material and to get to know her as it is harder for her to pull the old bait and switch that happens to so many men after they say, I do. My girlfriend's 24th birthday two weeks ago, I booked a table at a pretty nice restaurant for me, her, and four of her friends. I want to clarify that I earn quite a bit more than my girlfriend. I cover all the rent and utilities for our apartment. She covers household expenses like groceries. Slap to the back of the head. I get you earn more. I get you want to provide and protect. However, you are not married and she needs to pull more of her weight. Guys, she should be contributing as much as she can. Do not play white knight. Do not offer free or almost free rides. The women who will truly appreciate you are few and far between. Therefore, you will eventually be taken for granted. When you act like a chump, she will treat you like one. Arrangements like this create a sense of entitlement, which more often than not will come back to bite you on the ass. I acknowledge I don't know all of your situations. However, the point is clear. Always require her to give more than just token help. She has to earn you just as much as she expects you to earn her. The moment she thinks she's got you, the clock has started on the crap to start. While at the restaurant, I noticed how she and all her friends ordered some of the most expensive items on the menu. At the time, I thought I would, be, I would only be covering my girlfriend's bill, so I wasn't concerned. Okay, he was blind. However, can we not begin to see the entitlement and the setup to manipulation? She was showing off to her friends how she was in charge of this relationship, how she had him under her thumb. This is why they were acting like this, because they were all planned for him to foot the bill. When the bill arrived and the waiter asked if I would like to split the bill, I said yes. I told the waiter that what my girlfriend and I ordered 
would be on me, and the rest should be decided between her friends. The bill totaled around 1,100 euros. Um, by the way, for those of you who don't know, at the time of this video, that's about $1,180 for those of us on this side of the pond. I remember the smiles being wiped off their faces as soon as I said that. I ended up paying for my girlfriends and my food while her friends paid for theirs. Good for you. You didn't knuckle under. Here is a new word for many of you brothers out there. Ready? You sure? Okay. The word is boundaries. I remember the car ride home being awfully silent. I kept asking my girlfriend if something was wrong. But she insisted that she was tired. And no, she wasn't just tired. My girlfriend ended up giving me the silent treatment for a week. I would keep asking her if something was wrong, but she would always refuse to say what the issue was. Slap to the back of the head. Lesson time. Take this in, guys. Men communicate directly. Women indirectly. However, this was absolutely, positively passive-aggressive manipulation. She was punishing you and you fell into her drama trap. Look guys, most women love drama. They feed on it. This is why they do soap operas. And if they don't have drama in their lives, they will create it. In this case, when this happens, don't play. Call out the behavior and do not allow yourself to be gaslighted into being lied to with the, there's nothing wrong. That's a lie to your face. This is a form of toxic negative control. If they can't be honest about their emotions, then I'm sorry. Your relationship has no future. Stop responding. Stop asking. Do not allow yourself to get sucked in and start planning the end of it all. You gave her a chance to openly and honestly communicate and she refused. This is not the kind of woman you want to marry and make babies with. The thought of me not paying being the culprit kept creeping into my mind, but I would always reassure myself by telling myself that my girlfriend wouldn't be dumb enough to expect me to pay for everyone's food. Slap to the back of the head. Really? Are you honestly that boneheaded? I just lost it last Monday and demanded an answer from her. She ended up telling me that I embarrassed her in front of her friends by not paying for everyone. I asked her why was it my responsibility to pay, and she told me that since I organized everything and I was the man, I was obligated to pay for everyone. Isn't it amazing how when they don't get their way, they resort to indirect and direct ego attacks. Things like man up, you're insecure, you're immature, or did we hurt your little ego? Whatever you do, stay calm because they want you to get emotional and depend upon it and feed off of that. Depending upon the situation, simply laugh and casually say, feel better? Are you done calling me names now? We ended up getting into a heated argument and I ended up staying at my parents' house for the next couple of days to gather my thoughts. I came home last Friday and her attitude towards me didn't change one bit. Okay, what the hell is it with you guys? Why the heck are you leaving? I think it's time we started packing a bag for her give it to her and tell her to get the F out and spend a few days with her parents or her girlfriends. This Hollywood 
Hallmark Channel expectation that the man leaves needs to come to an end, especially if the lease is in your name and you are paying most of the damn bills. When I confronted her again, she told me to transfer the money her friends paid for the food, and only then would she talk to me. We got into another heated argument, and I broke up with her then and there, telling her to pack her bags. Good. A little late, but good. Her behavior clearly says to me something along the lines of you lost her respect, and you became her ATM. How much do you guys want to bet? He had her up on a pedestal, and she had him convinced that he was lucky to have her. I'm not against doing things for your woman. However, never put her on a pedestal. As a rule, women want a man to look up to, to take the lead. And if you elevate her to princess status, then she is looking down upon you. The moment she thinks she's got you, and you are a weak boy who won't go anywhere, this is the kind of crap that starts happening. While leaving, she called me broke boy, and wished me good luck finding another girlfriend with my brokey mentality. See guys, what did I tell you? She saw him as an inferior ATM to be used, manipulated, and just had to get in a couple more shots on the way out the door because she didn't expect him to suddenly show a backbone. Oh, by the way, who's the one who's broke here? It certainly isn't him. I almost immediately regretted dumping her on the spot for something that, in the grand scheme of things, was really small. Slap to the back of the head. Wow. She's done a number on your head. Dude, that crap is major. She sent me an apology yesterday for calling me those names, but insisted on me paying back her friends if I wanted to make our relationship work then that's not an apology. And newsflash, he broke up with you. Do you not see the kind of manipulation that's going on here with some of these women? Not all women, but I want you to take a lesson from what's happening here. I've been a mess since. I don't want to throw away four years with someone I consider to be the future mother of my kids. Hold the phone. This is not the kind of woman you want to have kids with. I could have given her friends a heads up that I wouldn't be covering for them, and I know that's completely my fault, but her behavior over the past two weeks has been quite concerning to me. But again, I love her too much for this situation to be the end of our relationship. I just want to swallow my pride and send her friends the money and forget about everything. Am I the a-hole here? Did I overreact? Should I apologize, send her friends the money? Okay, brother, come here, closer, closer. Slap to the back of the head. Oh, and slap to the back of the head with the other hand. No, you are not the a-hole. Let me tell you where this was all your fault. You either never learned to set and maintain boundaries early on in your relationship, or you never had them with her. You teach people how to treat you. So I must ask, what did you teach her? I don't know you, but I would bet money she took one look at you and knew I could make this guy my biatch, and that is exactly what happened. I've seen this before with guys who were good earners. The moment a pretty face pays any attention to you, suddenly you go into a scarcity mentality or a bad case of one-itis. 
You become so afraid of losing her that you violate your sense of self, your own needs, focus, and wants, and it becomes all about her. This begins the count-on clock to the inevitable acts of disrespect. If a woman can't respect you, she can't love you. Do you think Chad and Tyrone subordinate their needs completely to her? Hell no. Yet, you have been dumped countless times for Chad and Tyrone. Get it through your heads. Hollywood, TV, and popular culture have it wrong. If they did have it right, then why aren't most of you winning? Do not take her back. Block her and all her friends. Move on. Get help to identify what it was in you that you were attracted to her and what who turned out to be a manipulative gold digging 304. In the comments below, guys, give your thoughts, your advice. Point out any lessons I've missed because I honestly want to read them and others will benefit. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends that you know will benefit from it. I want your personal stories to share or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow and support this channel. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys and check out my occasional memes. Or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for stopping by. Before you run off, because we all have things to do, check out these videos and give them a thumbs up to help this channel grow, which keeps me motivated to make more content.